Sirocco is a uh, specialty uh, manufacturer of industrial lubricants. It's part of Fluids Europe, which is an ITW division. Uh, we operate throughout all of, uh, all of Europe and Rockel um, is located in the UK. We manufacture lubricants and we have a very strong focus on the UK market. We've got um, around, around 730 odd products that go through this factory. So any, anything from um, low volume specialised. So the great thing about manufacturing for roll call is it's, it is challenging, but it's not a high volume manufacturer. We're, we, we're a specialised manufacturer and that suits us with, with the equipment we've got. So we're blending some very traditional ways of doing things with the modern techniques. In the lab, we cover pretty much the whole product life cycle. So we uh, deal with coming up with product briefs, anticipating market needs, what customers are gonna want from our products in, in the near future. We'll then develop them, formulate them, coordinate with our colleagues uh, in the commercial and engineering teams to make sure that they meet the needs in field trials. Because often, if the customer's ringing up with a query, um, they can often be speaking to the person who formulated that product um, or potentially did the last tweak to the formulation to improve it. So there's that real connection between the formulations and what they then achieve. So process lubricants for us is our metal working portfolio and some other um, products that are used directly in the manufacture of metals, glasses, plastics, composites. Um, so my range covers things like you might hear the Ultracut brand, the Trilogic brands, things like that. So we have many different types of customers, um, so we have the classic CNC shop users who I'm sure you're familiar with, um, right down to sort of the mother bar specialist sort of things. Um, so really one of the biggest problems is trying to understand every single customer and bringing that within to real call. So we are thinking not within the four walls, but we're thinking about our customers continuing it. I'm customer service manager for Rocol, so I manage the customer service team and within that we um, process all the orders, uh, receive emails, phone calls from customers and we create the shipping documents to dispatch goods outside of the UK. So um, orders uh, from all customers, distributors, direct end users, we process them into our system, make sure that the customer gets an acknowledgement for their order. Um, and any complaints, any technical queries, everything um, you can think of comes into customer service. We'll either deal with it or we redirect it to the correct department. Um, but we're the first point of call for, for all our customers. UK manufacturing is incredibly important at the moment um, and we are very proud to be a UK based manufacturer, um, research and development team, customer services, everything is here based at our lead site um, and that definitely has its advantages in terms of lo physical location, getting our products to our UK based customers is great, um, however if you pick up the phone you get a UK based person answering that so you have our access to our entire backlog of knowledge um, pretty quickly which is great. We provide um, an excellent customer service to our customers to go alongside the excellent products that we deliver to our customers. Um, we're not just a call centre, we're trained, technically trained people. Um, we make sure that we can answer our customers at the first point of call and if we can't we make sure that we get them to the right person as quickly as possible. We don't want our customers to ring up and be passed around um, and leaving the call feeling frustrated that they've not got the answer that they deserve or that they need. So when I speak about products, I don't just speak about the oil or the lubricant in the container. The, the servicing package, the ultra care, is very much a product um, to us. It's very important to our customers and to us. Um, and we have one of the best servicing packages out there on the market. Our guys are incredibly knowledgeable um, and to maintain those fluids is such a, a key component of our products, so um, yeah, huge thing for us. So we have a um, technical service function which includes a team of service engineers who are based in the field, taking samples from customers, treating sumps, making sure that the fluid is performing uh, at the top of its game all the time, uh, performing to its best. 
We've also got a lab function here as well where we receive samples back and we do the usual tests, uh, things like the dilution, the corrosion, um, sometimes the elemental analysis as well and uh, we make recommendations as to how the product is doing in terms of its condition, in terms of any treatment that's required and any sort of guidance in terms of managing the product in the sump to get the best out of it. One of the key areas that we see as a growth opportunity in the UK market is metalworking. Um, it's a sector where we have a lot of expertise, a lot of technical expertise in-house. We have a very strong portfolio and through our service engineers we're able to provide a full solution to our, uh, to our customers. So it's one of our key uh, areas for, for continued growth and development. You know, to kind of remain competitive and make sure that we, we do a better job than, um, than our competitors, what we're relying on is, we, you know, we're a local manufacturer, we're very close to our customers, to our service engineers, we have um, a lot of expertise in, in, our, in our technical resources, so it really allows us to have great proximity to the end user, to really work with them hand in hand to understand their problems, uh, and then leverage our technical expertise to provide uh, the right solution to, to help them overcome everything that they might, they might face in their daily uh, operations.